caffeinated and ready to talk. All right, thanks for clicking this video. Today I'm gonna to go over how I am drawing hair with a ballpoint pen, or rather my process and how I build and construct hair when I'm drawing. I have a very nuanced and specific style as to how I draw everything. I'm very specific. I want things to be exactly how I see it. I'm always hesitant or at least feel weird making tutorials or explaining how I am doing the things I'm doing when I draw. Not because I don't want others to be successful or, or try my ideas, rather it's so specific to me, I'm not entirely sure how practical my styles are for other people. But because I'm trying and working on such a big project, I think it would be interesting to share to the world and see if there are other pen artists who are doing similar things or if other pen artists could take some ideas from me. Who knows? But. I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna try my best to explain what exactly it is that I'm doing here. Before I hit play, I have another video out explaining how I build my drawings because I oftentimes describe my portraits as puzzles or constructions that I slowly layer and build. And in this, I'm going to do the same thing. I pick an area to draw in. I usually do squares, rectangles, maybe just a finger let's say or part of a cheek and then I just work within that area for three to five hours in this video it's probably about five hours worth of footage just to do about this much of hair and what you're gonna see me do is slowly outline or box in the hair and then I just slowly fill it in like I'm layering like I'm building like I'm putting a puzzle together so here we go so first I start by identifying all of the highlights around the perimeter of the area that I'm drawing. So what you're seeing me do here is make little markings and lines that identify the white strands of hair, strands of hair. Because I'm drawing with a pen, all of the white is negative space. Right? So if there are strands of hair that are highlighted, I can't draw on them, otherwise they won't be highlighted. So I make sure to color around them and map it out so I know to not mess up and accidentally color on it. That was a long convoluted way to explain what you're seeing here. cuts ahead and you see me adding more and more and you see I'm not doing too much I just kind of lay enough ink on the paper so I can see and identify those negative spaces that are the highlights I continue finding more and you see I'm already starting to somewhat layer. It's, it's almost like, okay, I put a puzzle piece here. Now let me move over an inch. I'm gonna find and put another puzzle piece here. See, now that I identified that one strand of hair, I felt confident to color in or map in a darker area around a couple of those strands of hair. going on both sides of that strand of hair and you can really start to see some of the highlights pop out uh, now again I'm like I explained I work within an area and this was the middle of the hair to the top of the hair so how my brain works is I must I must do the outline of 
the area that I'm working in or my brain just sort of malfunctions. So even though I randomly was, it, it, or it seems like a random jump to go from the middle to the top, in my head I just have to do it. And what you're seeing me here is slowly throw on a very light layer of uh, gray or ink, pen drawing, I don't know what to call it, ink. And now I'm adding in the second layer, which are little weird shadows I'm seeing. See, th this is where it, it's hard to explain what I'm doing, and like I said, why I sometimes am hesitant to explain what I'm doing, because it's hard to explain what I'm doing. Like, as I'm watching this, it's kind of goofy. And I can't really, upon re-watching it, remember all of the little shapes that I'm seeing and the little patterns I'm seeing. Because that's what I'm doing here. I'm working with a photo and it's either on my computer or, or on my phone and I'm just going, okay, that's light gray, boom. This is a darker gray, boom. This is a black shadow, there's two hashes, boom, boom. And I just kind of jump around once I have an understanding of the shapes and shadows that I'm seeing. And another thing that's weird when I'm doing this is I very rarely step back during it. I don't step back until I'm done for those few hours. So I'll go four or five hours of just within a two by four inch area and then take a step back and go, oh hey, it does look like hair, that's good. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that, it's just that's how it works for me. Now, once I do step back and look at it from a whole perspective, I can see if there's areas that I messed up or I need to go back into and add more uh, um, layers of, of shadows and, and whatnot. And now I was sort of finished with the top part and now I'm going to sort of bridge the top part to the middle part and once the bridge is done that's when I can start putting in the rest of the puzzle pieces so to speak and that's what I'm doing here see I, I bridged the area that I wanted to work in and now I'm just going to identify more dark markings as well as more highlights and just slowly fitting it all together from what I see to the paper. Skip ahead, you can see I added more highlights and little landmarks bridging more of it together. I skipped ahead nice here. Now you can see the hair start to resemble the other areas that are already completed. Yeah, th this is, uh, I don't know what to say here. I, I, I thought I was gonna have more to say, and as I was watching it the first time through, I realized, oh, this is kind of very chaotic. This, this part's kind of hard to explain. You're just seeing me put the pieces together. And this is just sped up footage over the course of four or five hours that I just cut up so you can see both quickly how I'm actually doing the scribbles, but the whole scribbling technique and whatnot, I, I think is less what I'm doing. It's important in learning the intricacies of the pen and pressure and how to shade and color with a pen is very important, but the actual construction I think is more important because you can't erase. 
So that is what I think is the takeaway from me showcasing this isn't the actual technique of the drawing, it's the construction of it. How I am putting it together is, I think, the, uh, the most interesting here. And now it's really almost done, kind of. Yeah, so this tutorial went from me trying to explain what I'm doing in my drawing to me explaining how I don't really know what I'm doing in my drawing. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. But from a bunch of experience prior to this. Yeah, I just keep filling in the gaps, keep adding in layers upon layers until all of the puzzle pieces are put in their proper place and I have a nice chunk of 2 by 4 inches of hair. And here's a close-up of how the hair looks completely finished. I won't zoom out too much as to not spoil the finale as I'm almost done with the whole thing. So I hope that was at least enlightening or informative and entertaining. That's all I have for today. Please like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Other than that, deuces.